Yeah, we, we uh, you know, I get, I get the belt and I think we, we start a new, new relationship and I'm really happy and I'm very excited for a fight next December 30th. You just squared off with her for the first time. Anything you see in her eyes and her demeanor and her body language? No, I think it's going to be a great fight, you know, I think it, I think I'm glad she's accepted the fight. We look into this fight a long time, you know, before it's 140, it's supposed to be 140. And I'm glad it's going to be 145, I'm not going to have a hard cut to wait. And I'm very excited, it's going to be a nice fight. What is your relationship like with her? Because you guys filmed the movie, was yes. it like around a year and a half or so ago? Maybe yeah, I think two years. Yeah. Yeah, I met her at the, the movie place, and then we talk, me and her and Misha, you know, have a good time together, yeah. So no bad blood or anything? No, like no, it's just fight. We're professional, yeah. Are there any other opponents that, um, that you look forward to fight, facing? I know there's not a lot of women that are at 145 right now. You know, my folks are going to be Holly now, and, you know, late to wait to see what FC is going to be next for me. Do you think she's the biggest challenge you face in your career? Uh, you know, each fight I, I always respect all my opponents, you know, but I think Holly have a lot of things you're going to challenge myself too. And I'm very excited about it. Do you think her style is sort of a hit and move? Do you think that could prove to be a problem or do you think that you'll be able to overcome that with your pressure? You know, I think Holly have a lot of experience. I think if she'll take all the boxing fights, she'll have like a 300 rounds of boxing fight. And I think she have a lot of experience, but I think it's going to be the difference with the power. I think she never fight somebody like me either. And then. I have to work a house should run away and then see how they can work. Speaking of boxing, you've expressed an interest in going into boxing. Do you think a win over one of the best female boxers of all time is a bit of a statement to that sport? Or do you think MMA and boxing are just so different it doesn't really matter? You know, I really like boxing and, and uh, they bring Clarissa Shields this time too. I think, I think you know, FC maybe soon going to work with boxing fight and maybe if I have the opportunity for sure. I really like uh, KO girls and training boxing. Does yeah. the fight with Amanda Nunes interest you at all? I think she's. Uh, you know, up there with Holly in terms of the toughest women in, in the UFC and in the sport. Uh, you know, Amanda, we, we defend the same, same flag. I always said I would not like to fight her, but you know, if you don't have the opportunity to fight the other girl, or she clear her division, I clear my division, and if this fight maybe can happen, you know, why not? I think she's considered the best towards you, and it'll be an amazing fight for all the fans. What did you think of Jermaine Duran today? She wins the title, vacates it, and now here you are. Nah, you know, it's great story, you know, before I watched them fights together and who's the, one, the winner are going to fight her. But I think you have a lot of things behind the shoes, you know, just hurts, hurts her hand and, you know, maybe maybe I think this fight is still in the table. I think, you know, soon she's getting better, probably we can fight, you know, I think so. I think it's still have there to fight. Uh, Ronda Rousey's coach, Edmonds, recently said she thought that you would be a good fight for Ronda. When you first heard that, what was your reaction? Uh, I think like Ronda have to do more fights. I think her coach crazy. I think like she doing have to keep a Quebec training if she would like fight. And I think she's supposed to make four, my, more fights. And then she she beat the Ronda Rousey at the beginning of her career. And then maybe we can can be, make this fight. You know, I don't want to fight someone. She's already lost two times, and she's you know for why I gonna beat somebody already down. You know, I think she can make more fights, and maybe we can fight make this fight for our fans. So you're kind of above her now in your eyes. Uh, no, no about, but I think like for, for she have more fights, she's going to be, uh, I don't know the word I can say, but she's going to uh, back who's the runner of when she thinks invisible, you know, like she's invisible, not going to beat her. No, now, you know, I think better you fight someone when you, you good, you know, you're good, you want to fight. So you wanted to fight that person of Ronda Rousey, the yes, one that was winning yes, all fights. Yes, yeah, of course. I think it's the, everybody wants to watch that fight, you know, I think it would be great. Was it disappointing to you that Holly was the one to defeat Ronda first as opposed to you? I know everybody would like watching me and Ronda and then we have him better. I'm going to fight someone, beat her. And let's see what's going to happen December 3rd, but I'm very excited about. And if Ronda don't give this fight for us, you know Holly giving now. And then I think if I, after I beat Holly, I'm going to beat Ronda the same night. And you, you have the new contract with UFC. And you said recently things are on good terms. I mean, what's changed between you and the UFC that you guys do have a good relationship after the Rocky Road the last couple of years? I know the beginning, I think when they then open my division, I think then show want to work together. And then, you know, a lot of things that we were working on and then, then really want to be, help me and be with me too. And I'm really happy, you know, I love my job. I just want to be happy where I'm at. Why was Holly such an important fight for you? It seemed like you were really lobbying to fight Holly for a long time. 
Um, you know, because before we supposed to fight in Brazil 140, and I don't see the girl. She's fought 145 in my division, and I would I really don't like fight girls 135 and go up 145. But because she's already accepted that fight, I think it'd be a nice fight for all the fans. At some point, you expressed a bit of um, on your social media. You expressed a bit of. Uh, I guess you criticised Asada for testing you so much and when um, Jackson Wings had a bit of history with performing advances. Is that, has that subsided for you now or is that something you're still worried about? No, I, I'm not worried about it. We know who started this for her team. You know, her coach started this, say, yeah, because she cheated, because... Hopefully, okay, if you have any problem, you guys can do semi in 30 days. Uzada can test me same time in her. I haven't talked about the two years she did already. I talk about between the camp, our camp, then can test her a lot of times. Because they're not going to have mistakes, say anything about me. You know, and then cannot say anything, because her team and the history have most fighters following doping. You know, I don't think you're right to throw rock at other people, you know, if you have a house glass. And then I just say, I think I don't have any problem. I will. I never seen Timba Hall. I think her team started these things, and I just answered. You mentioned uh, Clarissa Shields. She's from this area. Will you be training with her while you're here? Um, no, I'm just I'm go home the same night today, and oh. then keep my training. I'm not gonna stay for the fights. But she's have a fight too, January 21 mm -hmm. in New York, and she's gonna defend her belt. And but for sure we're gonna keep training together. And she she she's there inspiring me. You know she's. She's love what she's doing too, and I learned a lot with her. And she's probably gonna be at fight too. Is she here right now? Are those? She's here belts? there. She's there. Yes. Oh, there she is. Right yes. there. Yes. Okay. I buy her because you know she she live. She's from Detroit, and then it'd be amazing. She'd be in UFC too, and watch the fights. Are you trying to convince her to come to MMA? I don't know. She's, I'm, I try to teach a little bit of jiu-jitsu. She's not really happy about it, but yeah. she said I look weird. I don't like touchy, <laughs> and then. But she's she, maybe you know she's young. She's young. Maybe she can do one day. By the way, what does the hair signify? This new color for you? Is there a special, red hair? Yeah, red hair. Don't care. It? Is that it? <laughs> no, you know, it's one time I was crazy. You know, woman's in close to period, and I'm crazy, I'm gonna change my hair, I'm gonna change my hair, I don't like my hair that color, and I changed the color, and after I'm so mad because I did, and oh. then I'm getting red, I know, I really like all my fans enjoy, and then, you know, I, I really enjoy the red hair. Yeah, yes. it's a good look, it matches like, your jacket. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>